I have uh, an adopted son. Now he came to us when he was four years old. How did it happen is this way. He was my oldest son's best friend. And two four-year-old boys who would play together. His mom had some issues. And I was a baby Christian at that time. And I was counseling as best as I could. After a while, the situation became unbearable for her. So he took her three kids and uh, left them at an orphanage in Cape Town. So we go on weekends and we go fetch my son's best friend and bring him home to come and play. After a short while, he just seamlessly integrated into our family and he became our son. His mom came back on the scene when he was seven years old. Because I never knew my father, I thought it would be good for him to spend time with his biological mom. So she'd take him away on weekends. After a while, we found out that a boyfriend was molesting him. And so we had to stop her from seeing her own child. Now before this time, she viewed my wife and myself as this wonderful Christian couple. She couldn't say enough good things about us because we were looking after her children. But because I had to stop her from seeing her son, she developed a deep hatred for us. Every time she'd phone him, she'd poison his mind against us. She'd tell him that we'd stolen him from her. He was just a little boy when he came to us, so he didn't know any better. On his 18th birthday, he ran away from home to be with his mom. After two weeks, she kicked him out, and he was too proud to come home, so he just kept running. We haven't seen him now for well over 10 years. Now there's an update to the story which happened a few weeks ago. The song that I'm going to be singing for you, I've sung all over the world. There are literally thousands and thousands of people all over the world praying for my son. A few weeks ago, my wife and myself and my children started receiving texts and emails from my adopted son telling us how much he loves us, how much he misses us, how God has kept him, and now he's coming to visit. God is faithful. It's a song I wrote at that time. Anytime you want, you can come Never 
Remember